Okay, hello. Um, today I'm going to talk about um, something, a very hidden feature. Uh, not many people use it, but it's called dual outliner feature. Uh, basically, you have two outliners in uh, Maya, or you can have dual outliners in Maya. Um, and it's extremely useful, especially when we're doing rigging and organizing scene hierarchies and everything and so forth. So we know that we can come into window outliner. And when we do that, basically, this is the one outliner that we get. If I close that, I can click on this icon here and I can get a dockable outliner available here as well. Now, this is by default one outliner. The second outliner, again, is still uh, available there and it's actually hidden. So if you come down here, you will notice a small dotted line. If you click and drag, basically, there we go. You get two outliners now. Now, so this means this is top off is another outliner. This is another outliner. These are two attached panels. They are not separate, but they are basically separable by default by using these simple dotted lines here. So you can basically have a two different outliners. Now, the usability is, for example, if I need to select an object here, these are my cabinets. And then if I go into top, this top is somewhere else. So instead of using one icon to arrange the objects and see everything, we can, for example, select uh, one cabinet here come into this another viewport and select this object go into oh sorry uh, go into the cabinet top here and then we can use these uh, menus to easily group and rearrange and organize objects as you go along so it becomes very nice and very easy to work with so you have two views here and then you have two views here so you can select one here one here and that will allow us to work with objects very easy and conveniently so for example uh, we have uh, one object here uh, kitchen cabinet I press F and then I can come down here and select the top here and I can just simply middle mouse drag and drop onto this cabinet here so it is available and stop 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 okay thank you we already got it and basically that's how you can very easily arrange an object from here so similarly I can select any particular object from this panel and I can use obviously it's not structured very well but I can use these objects here to organize my scenes and drag and drop and rearrange the files in this thing okay this is my in a minute um dr zishan see you around